Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we'll discuss about essential latest coding question. And this question is very important for your essential coding test because in essential coding test, the question repeats. So this question is also very, very important. So you have to prepare all the questions in this series. And before starting the video, make sure you have subscribed to this channel. And after watching the whole video, please like the video. So let's start the video. So today we will discuss about a question which is find count. Okay. So the question name is find count. So in the question, you will be given some inputs and the inputs are like this. So your input will be an array and an integer number. Okay. And another integer variable which is difference. Okay, so in this array, you will be given some elements like 12, 3, 14, 56, 77, and then 13. And in this num variable, you will be given an integer like 13. And in the difference variable, you will be given 2. Okay, so as an input, you will be given this. So the question is you have to calculate the absolute difference between this 30 and these array elements. So you can see 12 minus 13. So the absolute difference is 1 and 1 is less than this difference. So difference was 2. Okay. So 1 is less than 2. Okay. So then we will increase our count value. So our count value will be 1. So next we'll check 3 minus 13 and the absolute difference of 3 minus 13 is 10 which is greater than 2. So we will not increase the count value for this operation. So next we'll check 14 minus 13 and the absolute difference of 14 minus 13 is 1 and 1 is less than 2. So we'll increase the count value here and again we'll check 56 minus 13 and the absolute difference is not less than 1 so we will not increase the count value for this and again we will check for 77 minus 13 and the absolute difference is not less than 2 and again we will check 13 minus 13 and which is 0 so 0 is less than 2 so we will increase the count value okay so our final output will be so our final output will be 3 so this count value will be our final output okay so hope you understand this question and so now we will write the code so inside this main function write some variables like int length so this is the size of the array and then num so this is the num variable and and difference variable will be given okay and let's say length is 6 and num is 13 and our difference is 2 so right here an array so inside this array the elements will be so we'll copy the elements from here okay so let's copy this and paste it here okay these are the array elements so write a function like find count and this will do the whole operation okay from here we'll first the array a and then the size of the array which is length and then number num and then the difference okay so before this main function write this function again and the return type will be integer so int find count and inside this write the name of the array that is integer a and then int length so this is the length of the array okay then int num so this is the num variable and then int difference so this is the difference okay inside this we need a count variable because this will store the count okay so the initial count is 0 okay so now we'll write a for loop and we'll iterate from this 0 to n minus 1 in this array 
So right here for int i equals to zero and then i less than length and then i plus plus. Okay. So inside this for loop, we'll check a condition using this if statement if absolute value of so absolute value of array of i minus num. So if this absolute difference of array of i minus num less equals to difference, then we'll increase the count value. So now we have to return the count, but there is a condition that if there is no such elements whose difference whose difference is less than this difference that is two so whose difference is less than whose absolute difference is not less than this difference then we have to return minus one okay if we can't find any such numbers then we have to return minus one so we can't simply return here only count because if there is no such elements then it will return zero but we don't want that we want to return minus one if there is no such elements okay so for that so for that we will write a condition here if the count is greater than zero if the count is greater than zero then we will return the count otherwise we will return minus one okay and this value will be stored into another variable let's say it is a result variable and finally we'll return this result okay so after returning this we'll print it as output here so right here see out so let's run it okay perfect this is three so here you can see our count value was three and our output was three so this is the perfect output so hope you understand this question and this program so if you have any question or queries then please comment below and if you find this video helpful then please like this video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care